Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this shortcut to a delicious Mexican mole. No, it is not authentic, but yes, it is very delicious. So if you want to see how I make this shortcut mole, go ahead and keep watching. We're going to start off by using some chili pods. I have 10 to 13 chili pods, some chicken thighs. I have a canned mole of Doña Maria, salt, pepper, and oregano. It's all about a tablespoon. I have a third of an onion and I have two garlic cloves. So we're going to start off by filling this pot, pot with water and we're going to use this pot to boil the chili pods and we're going to use the third of an onion also to boil that in there. So while my chili pods are boiling, I'm going to just prep the chicken with some salt and pepper. Um, we're going to start off by cooking the chicken on its own, but we want it to have some flavor. And that's the reason I add a little bit of salt and pepper. So once that is ready, I'm just going to grab a pan, a nonstick pan, and I'm going to prep it with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then here you just see me adding the olive oil to the pan. I wait until the pan is nice and warm. Um, the olive oil starts spreading out evenly because it is a nonstick pan. Um, and then when I add the chicken on there, it just gives it a little bit more flavor with that oil. I like to use a nonstick pan because I feel like you don't need a whole lot of oil and it's a lot cleaner and it's just better to use a nonstick pan if you have one. So my chili pods, I boiled those for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you'll see that they change a little bit in color and you also feel that they're a lot more soft than they were. So I'm just constantly messing with my chicken. I turn it around, I poke at it. But right now, well, our focus is on making the mole. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a blender and I'm going to throw my chili pods and my onion along with that in the blender. So after I'm done tossing everything in the blender, you'll see me use the container that had the mole. I'm going to dip it into the water and I'm going to fill that container up two times with that water that I boiled the chili pods in. So I'm also going to add at this point the two garlic cloves. Just peel them and throw them in the blender, no need to crush them or anything like that. And right there, I am grabbing the Doña Maria mole paste, and I'm just throwing it in with my ingredients. You see that I dipped that container in water. It's a pretty thick mixture, so you want to make sure that you add that water. And then you also saw me throw in the oregano into my blender at this point. I'm going to just go ahead and cover the chicken because it's about ready. I'm going to finish up my mole. Just literally threw everything in the blender. You'll see that it's all super liquidy, but it all starts to drop and it becomes a thick consistency like I said. If you for some reason want it more liquidy, all you have to do is add more of that chili pot water. So I'll show you what the consistency looks like. I give it a taste just to make sure it's not missing anything in flavor. I liked how it tasted. I liked the consistency. So we were good to go. At this point, my chicken has been completely cooked. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw all the mole into the same pan where my chicken is. I'm just going to give it a toss, make sure all my chicken is covered in that mole. And I'm also going to leave it on there for about 7 to 10 minutes, I'm going to let the chicken cook with the mole because I really want it to capture those flavors. I don't want it to just be covered in the mole. So I feel like cooking it for a few minutes on low really helps enhance those um, flavors. So yeah, this is how I make my shortcut. Like I said, no it is not authentic, but it is super delicious. Here I just paired my mole with a side of calabacitas. 
it's just squash tomato and corn super good and yeah let me know if you guys use the same paste Doña Maria or whatever brand you use of mole and also let me know if you use other ingredients to mix your paste I'm always down to try new things so if you have any ideas or if you try this recipe definitely let me know and thank you guys for watching